So we've got a right turning coming up, but that takes us right next to the second death fog. So we started to smell something really strange. It's like a really unusual smell. This is really freaky right now. Look at all the symbols, man. It's like cryptid stuff. Oh, bro, look at that. Dude, no, Joe, what, what can you see? I don't know, can you see that? So if there's anyone here, cryptids, aliens, try come forward and speak to us. Oh my God, did you just see that? What are we doing right now? Well, I'm not ready for this one. I'm just not conditioned anymore. No. This one's gonna be a bit of a weird one, and this place is seriously no joke. Where we're going to right now is probably one of the most documented cases of UFO science in the world, and it wasn't just the one UFO, it was two UFOs over a couple of days from the 26th of December to the 28th. And the second one was the, the UFO landed and allegedly three entities actually got out the UFO. And right now where we are parked, this is where allegedly the second UFO landed. But not only just the UFO, apparently there was three entities that landed just here in this field. That's a scary thought right now. Right, okay, so before we head into Rendlesham Forest tonight, I'm gonna get my guy from America, Daniel. He's like major UFO expert. He's like top of the game right now. Okay. He knows his stuff. He's like he's like David Attenborough slash David Icke and all the rest. Oh, well he's called Daniel, so I trust him. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his stuff. He literally does all this UFO stuff all the okay. time. He knows how to contact them and do all this crazy stuff. I've seen his videos and no joke, he's capturing UAPs all, right, all okay. the time. So let's get him on the phone and see what he says. Hello. Yo, Daniel. What's up, dude? How's it going, bro? It's going good, man. What's going on with you? Yeah, so right now we are at Rendlesham Forest and we thought I'd give you a ring because we know that you know your stuff about aliens and UFOs and UAPs and, and God knows whatever. And I just want to know some, some tips, some advice, do's and don'ts and possibly how to connect with, you know, UFOs and aliens and stuff. Personally, I don't think they're aliens, but that's a whole other topic we can discuss some other time. I don't think they're aliens. I think they're interdimensional. I honestly think that, uh, that what people are seeing are physical manifestations of uh, beings that are intercessors between uh, basically the, the consciousness of the universe or God Whoa. and man. I don't think they're aliens at all. I think there are two groups, so I think there are some that are bad, and I think there are some that are good. But, you know, in, in the Bible, it talks about multiple types of angels. You know, you've got the uh, Ophanum, and you've got, like, the Seraphim, and you've got all different types of angels. And um, they appeared differently to people back in the day. And uh, I think that's partly because people back in the day didn't have all the technological terms that we use today. You know what I mean? They yeah. didn't know what a UFO was. They didn't know what a spaceship was. So when they saw them in the air, they described them the best they could. So just keep that in mind, man. I don't think you're, if you're going to do it, I don't think you're going to be dealing with, with aliens from another planet, so to speak. Even though the Bible does say that, you know, God has multiple mansions in the heavens and multiple worlds. But it's not like we think. You know, space is time, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So you're not going to be dealing with aliens. So you have to keep that in mind. And, and what you're doing is you're potentially opening a really big door and I don't think it's one that you can close it's not something like um, going to a haunted location and dealing with uh, potential spirit energy you know it's it's nothing like that at all man it's completely different this is like opening the door to angels and demons directly so do you think it was like interdimensional beings that were in a like a, an unidentified flying object that came down uh, to Rendlesham exactly I think they are they're Again, like we, we have we have pursued technology, you know, in, in our 
civilizations in our our current timeline we pursue material technology matter we we use science to examine matter but it's like um it's like think about it like a tree right if if one person started examining a tree from the top and and they started examining from the top down they would have a whole different viewpoint of that tree than somebody who were to examine it from the roots up does that make sense yeah no that totally makes sense yeah so so we have pursued matter like material science but there's a whole other science that's spiritual science and that's when you get into like the magics and the ceremonial magics and stuff like that so eventually those two are going to meet and i think that's what we're starting to see now i think that's what uaps are i don't think they're aliens from another planet technology i don't even know if that really applies if it does then it's so far beyond what we have that it's going to appear as magic just like it did back to the people in biblical times i'm telling you man the shit that you're going to see if it works is did you've seen the videos i posted yeah bro like your videos i've seen are just like something i've never seen before i've, seen, I've watched many documentaries on aliens ufos you name it but your stuff is like it's it's raw just raw nobody, and you, you just can't ex you can't insane. explain it you just cannot explain it it's so like it's, unbelievable it's so, what it is i'm telling you that's what it is i firmly believe that's what it is what about these signals how how do we signal use three nine use seven seven is another uh sacred number 12 is a sacred number and 10 is pretty significant as well so three seven nine ten and twelve any advice on staying safe or anything before we head in that is, that's the advice, man. Stay, keep a godly mind, dude, I'm telling you, because if you get in a situation where you're starting to encounter stuff that's dark, I mean, I'm telling you right now, you're opening a door you cannot close. You're not going to be able to leave and say you're not allowed to follow me. That's going to have no bearing. It's going to mean absolutely nothing. It's almost like cracking open the door to an entire different existence, because once you once you stepped across that line, I can't tell you how many crazy, freaky how much crazy freaky shit I've had happen since I've been going out there and doing that. All right, so I just got off the phone to UAP. If you want to go check his videos out, the link will be in the description, but he's got some mind-blowing stuff. He's got an interesting theory, but obviously tonight we're not just come for aliens. Uh, we've also come for cryptids as well because this place is well known for cryptids and hauntings, just general hauntings. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to do a bit mixture of both and just see what happens because who's to say they're not all interlinked anyway? Like, you know, Daniel's concepts of like interdimensional beings, mm -hmm. um, things like that. But you know, I, I think, I believe in the, the whole Prometheus theory as well, where, you know, we're just all test subjects and we've been dropped down on this earth. Kind of like, we, you know, we were going to send people to Mars and... and populate it to see what happens yeah of course you know so it, it's it's just a mad theory there's so many theories to to different things ghost the whole paranormal th is, is everything to combine aliens ghosts cryptids yeah. you name it just dimensions quasars for me it's um because i'm not religious it's it's hard for me to you know i think it's aliens and yeah. sorry it's uh angels and demons um, I see Daniel's point, and because he's obviously religious, that's how he can, you know, come up with an explanation for what's happening. Is you know, angels and demons. I think, and I, and I don't necessarily think they're aliens, you know, from outer space. What the whatever it is, we don't know. No. But for me, I think he's on the he's on the right line of interdimensional beings. But how do we? There's, there's theories of them being whatever we come into contact with and stuff being actual just normal humans mm -hmm. but was that the, like future, the palladians and no stuff way in the future time travelers well there's time travelers We've got, dimension skippers well there's that you, i mean you've, people have probably seen like online you see like people on the phones in like 19 yeah, 10 yeah. like do you know what i mean there was a good one charlie chaplin yeah yeah well there was that one as well yeah there's yeah, quite we, a few there was uh mike tyson's uh fight yeah mike tyson was uh fighting in the when 90s they, when they were filming off a someone had a f camera phone like that and yeah. it looked just like it like it was like a galaxy phone yeah mad so um, was, what we just got loads of different theories. I don't know. You guys can be the judge as well. What do you think? Drop your comments. Tell us the thoughts and theories. But we are going to head in now and just try our best to, uh, to see what kind of stuff we get get from this. I listen, mean, it's every be like is a prayer, and we need all the prayers <laughs> yeah. we can get right now. So come on, hit that like two thousand likes equals two thousand. Four thousand likes. We need four thousand yeah, likes. Two. Four thousand. Four thousand prayers right now. Settle you know I mean? for any less prayers than that. Four thousand, mate. <laughs> Right, come on, let's go. Right, okay, so it's time to load the trolley up. We found a route in. 
It's a bit of a trip, but we're all good. We've got the trolley to help us out. We've got some Kindle, some firewood to keep us warm. I also to cook some food. We've got a lot of stuff to take, so uh, let's get started. So we're set up, we're ready to go, but something weird, right? Something weird is happening. I don't know if you can hear that. There's like this weird like droning sound that's just started to appear in the distance. And right now we're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around. I've just checked the maps. There's no houses or anything. All the houses like further away in the distance. It's like this weird tone. It's like the earth making some really strange sound right now. Gives me an uneasy feeling this Dan. Gives me a really uneasy feeling. Yeah, I mean I'm I don't know if it's you making me feel worse or psychological because I know exactly what's happened here, or is the fact that, you know, potentially, and we don't have much previous because I brought my guard account out, but there is radiation still in the area after the 1980 incident. So we was actually looking online and yeah, when they did the investigations, they found out the area where the UFO landed, that there was three indentations around in the area. And basically the radiation was exceptionally high in that spot. Now, I think during the investigation, I think that's when they spotted the second one. Quote me if I'm wrong, someone dropped the comments right now. Uh, from what I was reading before, I think that's what I gathered on the second investigation. That's when the, the second craft landed and the three entities. But the funny thing is, man, the three entities and the UFO is literally just like, there. And we have to cut through. Yeah, we've got to go there. through the entity field. Have fun. Yeah. Great, great start to the night. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we even do this stuff? Hmm. We do this so you don't have to. I, I really do hope you appreciate this this kind of stuff right now. Do you know what I mean? You hear that? The thing is as well, do you know them kind of noises you hear and you just think, ah, oh, it's a water hen, oh, it's a fox. No, it could be an alien manipulating sounds that it hears in the wild because Carl will tell you something about a cra crazy, like, weird story about what they can do when they are mimicking people. So I think before I tell that story, I think we're just heading there and we'll tell them stories around oh, the campfire. Yeah, around the campfire, yeah. yeah. Cool stories around the campfire. Right, okay, that's the last time we're going to see the car for a while. <laughs> Mate, are we actually going to make this out alive? Who knows? Place your bets now. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is no joke. This is, this is world renowned. Like, everyone knows about this location. If you're into UFOs and things like that and aliens this is like one of the most top search locations and we are here we're about to do this right now so guys smash that like button help support remember four thousand likes equals four thousand prayers let's go yeah bro We'll just take it in turns, pulling it. Yeah. Well, I've seen the slightest bit creepy, man. Yeah, just a bit. Walking in the silence, dragging a cart. Bam. No, it's just kind of like eerie right now, because it's like, you can only imagine seeing the lights in the distance. See the MOD fence in there. Yeah. Just imagine just seeing like you know, an orange glow and then pursuing it. Don't. But didn't one guy touch it? Yeah, so he touched it and apparently he was like, he was uh, writing like binary code, like yeah. ones and zeros. Yeah. Weird that. Strange, but he, isn't it? He also wrote down uh, letters that he saw on the, on the ship itself, symbols. Yeah. He got that close to it. So weird, isn't it? The crazy thing about it really is it was like foot soldiers chasing it. And if it was just the foot soldiers, people would be like, yeah, okay. But it's a fact a colonel chases this thing through the forest too. Yeah. It's like... It's mad. It's very credible. In fact, I think there's actually the voice recordings. I'm going to put that in the clip now as we walk through. Just listen to the voice recordings as we walk through. <laughs> Some kind of mechanical problem. This is strange. Here, 
just have one look at the spots on the ground. Looking directly overhead where I can see an opening in the trees plus some freshly uh, broken pine branches on the ground underneath. Looks like someone came off about 15 to 20 feet up. Some small branches about an inch or less in diameter. Zero 148, we're hearing very strange sounds out of the farmers buying our animals. It's we have to the first night where we've seen. We're about 150 or 200 yards from the site. Everything else is just deathly calm. There is no doubt about it. There's some type of strange flash red light in here. It's yellow. Weird. It, it, it appears to be maybe moving a little bit this way. It's, it's right in that house pad. Yellow. It's coming this way. It is definitely coming this way. It's just as if it's shining off. There is no doubt about it. This is weird. To the left. Yeah, it definitely moving around. Two, two lights. We have to get to like a crossroads it looks like and then we do a right. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got a right turning coming up, but that takes us right next to the second UFO. Okay. Or we can go straight on and then do another right, which should link us up to the main UFO landing spot. Oh, man, so we've been walking for about 15 minutes. Feels like an eternity. Besides some of these trees. Oh no. It's really freaky, isn't it? Mate, I can see like, I can almost imagine it. You know, just seeing like the orange glow in the woods now. Because yeah. it's quite open, isn't it? It's not like, all compacted. Well, they probably chased it through this exact area. Yeah. Because don't forget, we're, we're heading directly to it. Yeah. So they, they probably took this route. Yeah, that's so it. We're following the footsteps of the, of the chase they took. Yeah, it's mad. Don't forget, the like, military base is like that way. I'm pretty close to it now. But it's so freaky out here. What's up? Low. No, it sounds like a, almost like a, a duck. A duck's not echo. It's a bit weird, man. Let's get to base camp. It's a little bit strange, isn't it? Alright, so, just heard like some weird echo thing when we was talking. Honestly, if I can convey like the feelings right now, this place is just you like really rumble. unusual. That rumble? Yeah. yeah. Right. Why don't you have that on all the time? <laughs> I ain't got enough battery for that, man. I'd feel a lot better if you had the bright light on. Yeah, it'll soon die, that's the problem. Things we have panel lights. We've got loads of panel lights, we just need that for travelling through here. Yeah, but I'm thinking if anything crank happens and is like high energy, it'll just drain the battery and we've got to get out of here in pitch blackness, which I'm not going no, for. I've got power banks. Yeah, but it would drain that as well, man. No, you never had that. Think about man, we're doing with aliens right now. <laughs> 20, 25 minutes. And then we're in the thick of it. It's pretty hard going, this. Got to go all the way down there still. It's been nearly an hour now. It's been a mission carrying this trolley. I'll pull it, should I say, but we're right near the UFO now. And it's funny because I was starting to smell something really strange. And then Dan had just said, it smells strange. And it's like a really unusual smell. 
Like, what even is that, innit? So just looking at the maps now, so I need to do a little bit further down, do a left. You can notice that there's an opening there, clearing in the woods. Geese. Or is it? Yeah, it's a moot, man. God, this is so freaky. So the clearing should be on the left right now. Yeah, this is it, bro. I know. Yeah, dude, we're at the UFO. This is the UFO, boys. Damn. All this way. Look at that. Now apparently this is what it was described as. This is exactly what it looked like. and considered the events of those dark winter nights in 1980, did you see anything mysterious? Do you believe? Look at that. Guessing that's how they're portraying it. That's spooky, innit? So wait a minute, this is... Look at all the symbols, man. It's like cryptid stuff. Well, don't forget, he got close enough to see it, and I'm pretty sure the way he described it is the symbols, but it like they were dripping metal. So, so I guess this is like the metal drips. It's so weird, and it's think like, why would you walk up to him and touch it though? Why wouldn't you? I would. You'd be the first person, well, potentially the first person on the planet to touch you, I thought. I don't know, man, I'm not going for that, I don't think. But apparently, around here, all along here somewhere, there was indentations in the floor. Now, I'll put some pictures up of the pictures. And there's three markings, and this is the spot. This is where they've seen it. And apparently they followed this through the woods, and it got to the clearing, and basically just shot up and disappeared. So, I want to show you guys something. Now, when we pulled up to the place we parked, me and Dan had seen weird lights in the sky, no joke. And then I seen a couple of meteorites, so I took some pictures off my phone on night mode. And the first one I pop now, you can actually see it in the picture. There is just stars. That's all you can see is stars. Now I'm going to show you the second picture I took straight away, and you can see the stars again. But it all looks like squiggly lines, like all connecting. But the other stars are in the exact same spot. Now usually when this happens, it's like, you know, if you take a long exposure shot and you move it around, everything starts to blur. But the weird thing about this is all the stars seem to be like in the background there. And the others are all like connected and moving around, which is really bizarre. And obviously when I took the picture, the phone was face down on the floor, not moving at all for about 30 seconds. And yeah, that's the result. I don't know what to think about that one. It's a little bit strange. But right now, it being here is kind of like surreal, really surreal, and it's so quiet. In the, in the distance, you just can't hear nothing. You just hear a couple of animals here and there, but it's just, just nothing. It's just, it's just an eerie place to be right now. But we're gonna get the fire on. We're gonna get cook some food, set the tent up, start investigating, see what happens. You can barely even see the UFO though, do you know what I think? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's so like black. dark, isn't it? Even the light on it. It's weird just like, it's crouching down next to this now, it's just like, weird man, just to think that that ship was here once, man. So bizarre. So we're on the cooking duties. 
you know how it is. Yep. Making uh, some of my all-time classic, for those of you who've seen some of my uh, previous camping videos, this was a, a classic, this was a fan favourite. It's my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, we're not telling you. We've got to have a build-up for this. Okay. What is it, man? These are... My whoa, 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 can't tell, man. Let's find out. Looking like a complex process, man. Right, okay, tell them. Right, we're making my classic all time favourite. Yeah. Jack potatoes, but these are exquisite, top of the range. Top of the range potatoes. We don't get better than this, boys. Out here in the UFO forest, making some scrumptious jack potatoes, beans, and cheese. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm game. Never know, man. ET might come down and just eat this up right now. Well, you never know. Maybe what we should do if it happened, man. Well, the greys just came down and was like, oh, you, oh, you, la, la, la. meaning really translation annoyed. was my virgin oil. I'd be really annoyed that I didn't get a chance to eat these first. Depends what time he arrived. Mm, it's true. Normally I would uh, roast garlic and put some clove in there too, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. <laughs> oh man, I can hear them sizzling. Take about half an hour, 40 minutes. Sizzling sausages. Kind of fancy sausages, you know. Is it? Yeah. So we should have got the beans with the uh, sausage inside, man. Mm, yeah, I thought about that, but oh, I fancy like a really big sausage. You just want to get your mouth around a sausage, like a bratwurst, like a German one. Well, a bratwurst. Yeah. Or bratwurst, or whatever you say. I'm looking forward to going Germany. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sausage, you already know. Germany business. All right, so right now, this is the first episode of the Haunted series. Now, October's here. We're going to be double dropping. How's that? Mate. Dead comes on in my pocket. And it's come up saying their chip. Bro, it just said their chip. Mate, 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 this is really weird. Bro, this is like seriously in weird right now. Right, so is his phone just spoke out loud when he's in his pocket? He picks it up and what's that? Mate, dead comms just loaded in my pocket, right? Right. On its own. I've not touched the phone, right? Yeah. And the first word that's come through is saying their chip. Their chip. Their chip. Like as in like their chip. Chip. The chip is in like a like a yeah. module chip or Yeah, yeah. So you know what's funny about that? A lot of people who play get yeah, abducted end up with like little chips in them. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And they actually found a lot of things in people that are admitting radio waves. So if you know that. This is weird as hell, man. Warmer. Well they are getting warmer, the potatoes. Their chip, yeah. So Dan was literally just saying then, like, when people get abducted, they claim, you know, that they have chips and, like, chips yes. emit the radio waves and things like that. Do you not remember that case, that famous one where she said she got abducted and she went for x-ray scans, or yeah. whatever it was, and they found some, like, weird piece of metal in it and yeah. there was, like, engravings in it and they think it was, like, linked to, like, a, a chart of the skies? I don't know, but they, them little pieces of metal are found in quite a lot of people, and when they pull them out, they are emitting a radio signal. And that's what they believe, like, they can track, they kind of track... The, the abductees. You just don't know. I mean, what the hell has just happened? It's a bit weird, fucking weird, bro. I'm sat next to a UFO. And it's just said their chip. Rendleton Forest. <laughs> and now it's saying that the chip. I'm going to keep that rolling and just see what happens. But as I was saying, this is the first episode of the Haunted series for October. We're going to be doing double dropping for four weeks solid. And yeah, I just can't believe what the hell just happened. Yeah, weird. Oh yeah, and don't forget. What? One of the best horror movies ever made. What's the best horror movies ever made? Well, one of the best horror movies ever made. Have a guess. Do you guess? Friday the 13th, and do you know what's happening on Friday the 13th? Carl? Okay. Yeah. What's happening on Friday the 13th? Screen Fest. Screen Fest is happening. Yeah, man. Guys, you already know. Grab your tickets if you want to come with me and Carl around some scare mazes. <laughs> <laughs> just be warned. 
every man for themselves. So that's right, you can come meet me and Dan at Screen Fest. The link will be in the description. Got to be tickets and stuff. And it's just a crazy, crazy event. Like the scare mazes, loads of different things on, loads of cool food, booze, you name it. Like it, it's, it's all there. And uh, yeah, last year we did it. It was absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, link will be in the description. Come join us. But that's it. That's if we make it alive on this episode. That's even if we see this episode right now. So food's nearly done now, man. Yeah, the, the two potatoes on the right and your, on your left should be done almost now. So as we're waiting for the potatoes to cook, nearly there, nearly there. I want to continue my story from before. So, I recently filmed a video in a place called Bally Bally Woods. Now it's renowned for UFO, alien activity, and apparently the Druids were there, and there's been loads of murders and disappearances and all that carry on. And, you know, like we was talking before about mimics. Yeah. So, there's a thing at Bally Bally Woods that when you enter the woods, you tend to hear a woman shouting help, okay. like just over and over, and, and people tend to chase it. And apparently when these people chase it, they either go missing, or what happens is, they manage to escape whatever's, whatever's chasing them. Now, the recent video I filmed there, on the audio, we captured the same sound of a woman shouting help in the distance in the woods. Now, apparently this like, when you hear it, it's kind of like mesmerizing, like, let's just say almost like kind of puts you under a spell kind of thing. Mm. You know, people like mesmerized by it, like almost like seduced by this, yeah. like this voice. Now, funny thing is my friend Neil was like, yeah, let's go after it. Let's, let's go chase it. It's like, no, no, because that's exactly what he wants you to do. He wants you to chase it. How weird is that? So what do you think it was? Don't know. This is the thing. What is it? So I can't remember what movie it was. So maybe someone in the comments will remember. But there's a movie. Oh, is it Terminator? There's a movie and the, the, the monster or the bad guy or whatever it was was able to mimic the voice of someone else. On the it was phone. on Terminator. Was it Terminator? When it was like, I love you too, sweet. I love you too, darling. Yeah, it was, it was I the, love you too, sweetie. It was, yeah, it was a T... 1000. 2000. It was the liquid metal one. Yeah, the T1000. Well, even Arnold did it as well, didn't he? Oh, no, it wasn't T1000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator when he was like... But the melt, the, the melt guy does it as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's like a mimic process, but I've heard rumours that skinwalkers do it. The skinwalkers, yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe you guys can shine some light on this, you know, the theory of mimics and things like that, you know, skinwalkers and stuff. Now, I just thought it was bizarre because you, you read up and stuff and you only tend to see like one article of, of, you know, eyewitness reports and things, but this is like countless websites from countless people and, mm. you know, people just running out of the woods, being followed by something or chased by something, but what we was hearing was a woman saying help. Right. So weird. Yeah, definitely trying to lure you, lure you in. Yeah, definitely luring you in. But what was also strange, man, when we did the Estes method, all I can describe the sounds that were coming through were not normal, not human-like. It was it was distorted, where, weird where sounds. Was it, where was this? Northern Ireland. Fairies. Fairies. There's all sorts of weird stuff, man. All yeah. sorts of weird Lepo stuff. Cones. Oh yeah, I they mean they are fairies. Yeah. Because they, they fall in the fairy category. Yeah. Strange. It's so strange. It wasn't next to a fairy for it, was you? I don't know, man. I have no idea. But on the Estes method, these sounds I was hearing were just like unusual sounds. Like I was hearing weird stuff, man. Mm. And it was saying, his voice kept saying about there's, there's going to be an invasion soon. Well, and it right. said that it, it it was from 500 million years ago or something, something chronic. Really? Honestly, it was so weird. I, I, how'd you explain that, man? Weird. How do you explain well, it? Don't surprise me for an invasion from the sea with all the UFO stuff. Yeah, well, this is it, man. It's it's funny how we've come here tonight, and there's been all the recent stuff about you know that UFO being shot down near Canada, yeah. 
Yeah. All the stuff's coming to light, you know, with all the UFO stuff, the UAP, the as they call it now. It. The government ad admitting this now, and it's just like, what the hell is going on, man? It's just funny, though, after 70 years, why now? Why all of a sudden be like, oh, well, everyone, you know, well, it's Americans. Everyone, uh, you know, the, the UFOs are real, the, um, the aliens are here, and everyone's just like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know. Yeah, yeah. And I think they were, I think they were waiting for like a bigger reaction. Yeah. Which makes me think they were trying to cover some up. Yeah, maybe. Distract everyone. Distractions, know? yeah. Government distractions. I don't know, man. I think there's something weird happening right now, and I think whatever's going to happen is going to be in our lifetime, without a doubt. Okay, so before I eat my potato with beans and all that good stuff, Dan's potato special, right? I just want to say these videos are going to be totally different. My video style is completely different to Dan's. Dan's is completely different to mine. So make sure to go check out both versions because both are going to be really interesting. Like, and we've kept some strange stuff up to now, like weird sounds and like just documenting our experience right now. But we're going to be getting on to the main stuff. Can we try and say? I don't even know what we're trying to do right now, man. I don't think it's a good idea, but we're gonna we're gonna try Daniel's method, and then we're gonna get onto the usual hard stuff. Try contact some cryptids, maybe something to link in with this. I don't know. I just thought it was weird how Deadcom came through saying their chip. I, I don't get it. I really don't understand it. So, but I just want to shout out all the patrons and members right now. We've got 300 members on the channel supporting Darkats TV. I just want to shout massive thank you to you guys for, for making this happen and obviously for making Darkats TV continue the way it is. I, I, man, we've been going, been going strong. Been going strong. I think this will be the eighth year I've been on YouTube and I never thought it'd be, you know, like it is today. But it's all thanks to you guys and everyone who's supporting members, everyone buying merch and donating as well. Honestly, it's, it's, it's super appreciated with the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much. Right, okay, so something really weird happening right now. So literally just scrolling second potato in and I've just heard this like weird sound. But it, it is like, ah, it's almost like, you know when you hear a train, it goes, but you just described it as like this, that Steven Spielberg movie track where it's like do the tune again do, do. what film was that? I have a film what the hell was that film? some of the fourth kind or I don't know I mean, get up on your phone and play it no. in fact no don't play it First. Mate, honestly, that's what it sounded like. It, it, it was so like, it was so odd. That's weird. I didn't hear it. Mate, I heard it straight away. I was like, holy shit. We were just talking as well, just chilling, no cameras rolling, eating potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then that just happened, mate. The weird thing is, it was like coming from in the wood. Can you hear that sound coming back now? What's that? Oh. What were you back at the car? Yeah, bro, I can hear it. What the fuck is that? Mate, I need to put potato down for a minute. That's chronic. Honestly, bro, that's a really strange sound. Pass my torch to that man. It's just there. Let me take this off the tripod. It was really odd. I didn't like that sound, man. Nah, mate, do you hear it again? Yeah, what, what the fuck was that, bro? Wait, 
I start to freak out a bit now. We've not been hearing sounds all night, man. No. What time? What, what, what time is it? It's got to be nearly three. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. Oh, Twenty to four. That twig's breaking over here, bro. It's like twigs, twigs breaking over here. Could be deers, a lot of deers. Let me go look. Okay, so we're gonna try what Daniel does. Now I've set the camera up here, but this is gonna be really slow because I've had to drop it right down, boost the ISO, so on the image, you'll, you can see the stars. I'm gonna try the method of using a torch. And just see what happens. Right, come on bro, let's do this. You yeah, you're coming over here. I'm gonna aim for those doors up there, you ready? Right, okay. Let's try three first and see what happens. So I'll start from the from the right man. Oh bro, look at that. Dude, no joke, what, what can you see? Oh, I see that, what is that? I don't know, can you see that? Don't shine your light in it. What is that? Dude, I have no idea right now. Mate, that just appeared out of nowhere. Dude, that just came out of nowhere. I'm hoping my main camera's put it up. Dude, what the hell? Alright, that was a little bit weird. It's gonna be on the trees now. Right, let's try. Let's try some more, man. See what happens. Try the other corner now. Oh, it's so strange, wasn't it? Yeah, it did come out of nowhere. I'm hoping the, uh, the sky cam picked it up. So they're moving fast now. Oh, what? It's way off in the distance, so it's dead small. Put your, put your laser on it, man. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Bro, I can see it. Yeah, it's it's over that way. It's it's moving to the left, isn't it? It's like the... Yeah, yeah. It's 
don't think that some of them could be satellites or Yeah, true. But it's weird how the one just appearing now. Let's try the top formation. If we go off like what we know with crop circles, they love uh, geometric shapes and yeah. sequences like that. So this might attract. Whoa, 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 what was that? Well, I saw that then. What was that? I don't know. Oh my it's God, did you just see that? that? Yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a plane. There. Oh. You've got to be careful with that one. That's a plane, definitely. <laughs> like, you can see the difference between... Yeah, you can... Look at that. that. That's a plane. Look at it flashing. Whatever that was what we caught before. Yeah. It's not a plane. It was just... It might have been a satellite. But, to be honest, it, it, I think it looked too big for a bit of satellite. Yeah, man. I thought it was on you some mad stuff then, yeah. Down. Even when I'm zoomed down, clearly to see that's just a plane. It was something else that shot across the sky. I think I'm having a shooting star, but... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, hey, I thought it was getting abducted then, you know. <laughs> I thought it was game set and match. Let's let's just switch this up. Let's just have a walk around. Let's just do some some spirit box, maybe. Just see if we get any stuff. EVPs, because it's deadly silent out here. Yeah. And just see what we get, man. We get something that's interlinking with the alien stuff, kind of like what with Dead come before it said their chip, which I thought was really bizarre, man. That was weird. It was really odd, wasn't it? Yeah. So maybe we just we just do a bit of that stuff and just see what happens. I'm I mean, take it's a quick recap. I'm gonna take a quick look at that. Yeah. I'm curious. All right. So weirdly enough, we've just been looking back at the footage, and there appears to be this weird green dot that like flashes, but we can't rule it out 100% because obviously we were using the green laser at the time. But yeah, it just seemed a little bit odd, didn't it? It was just like it blinked next to it. I mean, there's a lot of weird things we caught on camera. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know what that green dot was. No. This is obviously. Just check it out, like. I don't know. Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me your thoughts and theories. What do you think of the first one as well? Do you, do you think that's some kind of satellite or. I, my guess it's a satellite because it was just like straight line, it was just yeah. cruising through. From all the previous like videos I've watched and stuff, you're looking for things that are making manoeuvres that no man made craft can make. For example, right hand turns in the in the middle of the sky. And I have witnessed that once before when I was like 21 and I was at the top of Pendle Hill in my boy racer Corsa. <laughs> and, um, and we all went up there and we were watching the sky at one point and I saw this like big white, um, stick looking thing in the sky and it was only it was only tiny and as it came across it did a right angle turn and shot off the other way and just no man made craft can do that what are they i don't know i'm not saying they're aliens but <laughs> something we had going on yeah but do you not also remember the time we was at the hellfire club in in dublin in yeah. ireland and we came out of the hellfire club and no joke we looked in the sky it was at the time where there was loads of ufo sightings around ireland like all of ireland we came out and this big bright blinding light was in the sky and it just like appeared and got bigger and it went pew to one side do you remember that yeah, true. me and you and Wheatie. yeah and we freaked up <laughs> out and we was like nah mate let's get out of here <laughs> i was like purposely ignoring it. i was like listen i'm dealing with the hellfire club i didn't really like the paranormal back then we had to walk back down that haunted fucking forest yeah with the days with red eyes looking yeah, at us like that yeah i was like i ain't dealing with <laughs> ufos too <laughs> yeah that was seriously weird but yeah leave your comments tell me your thoughts and theories on that Interesting stuff up to now, man. But nothing too spectacular. I mean, let's be honest. Do you really expect something crazy when it comes to stuff like this? I mean, it's, for one, it's unpredictable. Two, it's not like, you know, the uh, you, you, your pet that you've got downstairs. You know, you're trying to summon potentially an extraterrestrial being or an interdimensional spirit of some, some sort. So I, I think I think we've done well so far, but I'll be, I'm will be eager to see what else we can do. All right, so first off, let's try this spirit box. Just see what we get. See, we might not get nothing, but we might also get something. Yeah, but, it, but it'd be interesting if it's going to be relatable. Because if it's relatable, then that's like chronic solid. Yeah. Evidence of something happening at this point in time. So well, let's just try and see. I mean, they might be able to manipulate it even from the stars. <laughs> you just don't know. I don't know, man. It's a worrying thought that is. Just have a run around here, man. Just, we'll, just, we'll just walk around a little bit and we'll just run the spirit box to see what we get. Right, okay. So if there's anyone here, cryptids, aliens, 
try come forward and speak to us and maybe use this device in my hand manipulate it in some way or form shape or whatever and come forward and, and make yourself known to us I know, I know. You definitely got that on the audio. Definitely. That was damn loud. We are going to goosebumps. That was loud. What the fucking hell was that? Hey, now I'm freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, me too. The worst thing is we didn't bring any weapons. No, no. That's what I said to you, we should have brought guns. That was loud, that, bro. That was real loud. Whatever, whatever made that was a, a, a sizable mass. Yeah. Because that was an echo. Yeah, quite a big echo. Fucking hell, I don't even know what to turn this on now. No, I wouldn't. Fuck that. Oh, no. Bro. Yeah, because if we turn that on, we're not going to hear nothing coming at us in the darkness. We should turn that on as the sun's coming up. Just give it a minute. I'll just, I'll just roll a little bit. I'll put it on low and see what happens. I'll just come over here so away from the fire. Man, that was a really weird sound, wasn't it? It was the sound of like a tree being yeah. smashed into. Being snapped into that, like. <sighs> no, we've not heard anything all night. But not like that, no. no. It's weird how I just asked it to do it. Something, it was just like. I'm just nervous about you turning that on, it's just loud. Alright, so if you can understand us, and if that was you. Answering my request. Can you make another sound for us? Another loud bang. Get that proper weird smell again. Yeah, what is that? No, bro, seriously, what is that? Oh, no. What is that smell? We only smelled that one was coming in. I thought it stings. Three something. So, what happened here? Radio bleed. Alien, oh my god, he just said in alien, bro. Is that what it said? Alien? Woman's voice, oh alien. Oh my god. What the f Holy shit, man. Bro, what the? Dude, he just said, in alien. I feel like we're tapping into something we shouldn't be tapping into. It's all good and fun, ghost, yeah, but this is like something different. Thing is, it's not as if it's a five minute stroll back to the car. Exactly, that's what, that's what worries me the most. It's a half an hour run. How, how many aliens were there? How many aliens were there? Why did they land here? What was that? Bro, did you hear that? That was the sound I've not heard come from one of them boxes before. Me, that was like a... Yeah, it was a distortion. I am something. What are aliens? 
What the hell was that again? Don't know. Don't know what that was. What are aliens? Are aliens interdimensional beings? Is it related to heaven and hell as such? What about angels and demons? What is this we stood next to? Plane, plane. What is this we stood next to? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Really odd, man. I feel like, I feel like we're being watched. Yeah, I, that's how I keep popping the light on, man. I just keep expecting you to point it around and just yeah. smoke like dark behind a tree. Why did the aliens come here? The aliens again, bro. The aliens. And why did the aliens come here? Sound like he said, cuz. Because you know. Cuz you know. No, I don't know. If you can tell us, I'd really appreciate it. What is it they wanted? Bro, did I just say demons? I don't know what it said. I didn't hear it properly. Why were they in the field? Or in this forest? How many... How many entities were there? Tell me number how many entities were seen. It's this it's, world? Yeah, it says since there was a woman it said this world. There was something woman, this world, yeah. yeah. What the hell is that supposed to mean? This world. Don't know, bro. Yeah, they came, they came to, to this world. But can you tell me how many entities there were that were seen? I think you said it before. Can you just try and confirm? What colour was the light from the spacecraft? Four. four. I said four. Four. So there must be four then. Red. 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 But wait, wait a minute, it was a red light in the forest, wasn't it? And it, and it was emitting like this yellow like yeah. thing that was burning stuff. Yeah, it looked like it was on fire. And I just said, what colour? And it just said red. Bro, what the fuck, man? That is scary crazy. I just don't like it. I don't know what it is, it's, it's the no, idea of... Right, let me just try one more thing, I want, I want to try an EVP, right, it's, it's dead quiet out here. I just want to try an EVP just to see what happens, see if anything can manipulate this in some way, or speak to us in like different frequencies or something like that. Yeah. Some extra, ex, the electronic phenomena, voice phenomena. Okay, so whoever's talking with us and communicating right now, can you try and speak to us and talk into this device I have in my hand? Is the aliens still visit here? What were the aliens doing here? Was that you? Fire. Fuck no, shit me up, man. Yeah, I think it was the fire. It's weird because it's like it's coming from that way. I'm just going to blame the fire. Sick of us, you know. Yeah, me too, actually. It's not my cooking. <laughs> we don't have potatoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just play it back and see what happens.
we're the aliens that are in there. Wow. Abducting aliens, bro. Are you hearing this? No, I can't, I can't hear it. What were the aliens doing here? It goes, abducting aliens. So it says. Why the fuck would aliens be abducting aliens? Well, maybe we're the aliens. Oh, yeah. Going back to the Prometheus shit. Yeah. Now, that's weird, man. Just, just listen to this, right? I'm, I'm just going to play it. What were the aliens doing here? Can you hear it? Just about, yeah. <laughs> It says abducting in this. Let me just play this next to you, bro. Yeah, I can, I can hear it, yeah. Abducting aliens. Sounds like it's on a different like frequency almost. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And we heard it, bro. Why were the aliens abducting aliens? How many aliens were there? Nothing that time. Yeah, blank. Abducting aliens, bro. Strange one. Abducting aliens. Mm. But now this is really weird because obviously we've got abducting aliens. We just had that bang in the distance, that snap of some sort, right? After yeah. asking, can it interact with us? And before, your dead com just turned on my, in my pocket and it just came through. First word was their chip. What is going on, man? It's random. <laughs> it's very random. I didn't expect to really... I thought it was just going to be a chill camping trip and talk about aliens. <laughs> didn't think anything's going to happen. Well, this is it, isn't it? But obviously, it's like we seem to be getting somewhere with it. Yeah. But why would... It, you know, if, if... If there is aliens here and stuff like that, then why are they still... If it is... Why are they still here? Mm, 40 years on. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Not really. Unless it's just a projection. Why is that smell again? It's getting blown over from that direction. Oh yeah, it's that weird smell again, man. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Mm. I don't know what the hell that smell is, but it's just like a really odd smell. I ain't smelled anything like it ever. And the weird thing is I can't really, like, describe it because it doesn't smell like anything I've smelled before. It's just... <sighs> Dude, what the f is that? What? That smell, man. It might be peat. It doesn't smell like peat, man. Man, honestly, I don't know what the hell that is, man. I think Dan's freaking out. He's getting more logs on the fire. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to chill out now for a bit. Slide down. We've had a long day. We've had a long drive to get down here as well. We're just going to chill this and out. See if we hear any weird stuff. It's just so quiet right now. It's officially morning. You know what that means? That means we officially survive Red Mushroom Forest. That is right, we did not get abducted. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like that caterpillar from Bugs Life. A lot of that caterpillar from Bugs Life? Yeah, that's what I feel like. Oh, you feel like <laughs> that? <laughs> so yeah, what an interesting night. We got some really cool responses. It was creepy, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, when I put my head down as well before, I kept some waking up. I was looking out the tent doors thinking, 
you know, I was waiting for some grey aliens to be like, look at my eyes. I'm going... <laughs> well, obviously it didn't happen. And um, funny enough, I had some weird dreams. Some really strange dreams, actually, and I jumped a few times. Um, I think, I think. wait a minute, didn't I wake... I uh, started banging, banging on you at one point? Yeah. I was like, I was like... Dah, dah, dah. And he was like, what? I was like, oh, it's alright, I'm just dreaming. So yeah, I don't know whether I was just exhausted and I was just like freaking out or what, I don't know. But um, yeah, we survived Rendlesham Forest. But it's time to uh, clean this mess up, load up, and get in the UFO and get out of here. Fire is out, we're packed away, we're ready to go, man. It's been super interesting. But uh, let's get out of here before the Yogi Bear, oh, the local forest ranger turns up. I mean, I can't be doing that. I can deal with grey aliens and that, but when the park ranger and Yogi shows up, it's time to run. Yeah, let's go. Officially back at the car. It's sunrise, officially. Right, so that is the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to smash the like button, drop your comments to me, thoughts and theories. And yeah, if you want to consider hitting the join button, becoming a member to the Dark Arts TV unit. Like I said, we've got over 300 members and by doing that, it just helps the channel absolutely massively. We're both exhausted. We're absolutely knackered. And I just had to do a jog back for the sleeping bags because they fell off the trolley and we didn't even realize. And we had to climb a thousand logs because we took a different route back. Yeah, it was chronic. Any last words? Do you think it was a successful mission? Yeah, of course. I mean, we didn't get abducted, but I feel like the stuff we saw in the sky Considering when we thought about doing this place, we didn't think about it as if it was a UFO investigation. We were just going to do a haunted camp. Yeah. So I think with the equipment we had, not being prepared for sky watching, I still think we did a fantastic job. Yeah. And we were able to track some weird stuff in the sky. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I, I think it was a success. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. So I want to shout UAP contacts as well. Go check his videos out. There's some unusual, strange stuff going on in the world, and he's the guy who's filming that stuff right now. So uh, hit that link. Also check out Screenfest. Friday the 13th, meet us down there, click the link, get your tickets, and uh, yeah, come chill us and get a scare. And um, other than that, check x one Fight as well. And we'll see you on the next video, man. We're so exhausted. I don't even know what's going on in my hair right now. It's just like this like cowlick thing going on. You know, you know you're tired when you don't make the bacon butties you've, you've got. Yeah, that's it, innit? Do you know what I mean? We're supposed to have bacon butties this morning. What happened? Well, anyway, see you on the flip side. Peace.